I've never fished here before, and upon approaching this river, I've noticed that because of recent rains and spring runoff, the water's really dirty. I don't know what's beyond four feet from the edge of the river. When approaching a piece of water for the first time, don't go barging in up to your knees right away. Stand back and fish as close as you can to where you might think that fish may lay. It turns out we've been watching some anglers catching fish and they're super tight to this bank. So don't go barging in, start short to yourself, cast out, fish it, and then work your way out. What's considered perfect watercolor for steelhead? Good question. In the spring, there are a variety of factors that will alter the color of the water. Watercolor is really dictated by the amount of sediment or material in the water after a natural weather event. Some of the factors that play into the color of the water include rainfall, river bottom makeup, and the amount of spring runoff that the system is experiencing. Ideal watercolor should be slightly tinted or off color where you can see up to two feet or so in the water. A slight tinge in color allows fish to react to a fly versus seeing it clearly and spooking. Stained water allows steelhead to eat as that hit can be more of a reaction bite. You know, when you're fishing for migratory fish like steelhead, you got two options. You either are flexible and you wait till conditions are perfect. You call a fly shop, you check the internet, you get on the river when it's just right, or you do what we're doing here and you take what the river offers you. You planned a trip, you're gonna go. So we're here, the water was high, it's dropping now, it looks a little bit better, it's starting to clear. We're gonna make the best of it, have fun, and try to catch some steelhead. So I came up to this spot here, kind of worked my way up. It looks like pretty marginal water, but you never know, with the high water that we've had, the steelhead have dropped back in the shallower water. So there's very big expanse of fast water here with a tree overhanging, but the current out there, to my eye, is way too fast. There's just a little bit of softer water on the inside here, and I'm just gonna take a few casts in this, in this shallow, softer water, just in case there might be a fish in here. So I came up, I came up on this fast water here, and I noticed this soft water on the inside where that, where that whirlpool goes around, and uh, I thought maybe just ahead of that swirling whirlpool where that big foam thing is, where those bubbles are coming down there, is a nice soft edge. It's relatively deep in there, and sure enough, second cast, there was a fish in there. So just looking for that little bit softer water, you know, this, this whirlpool would be tough, but that nice, even, soft water just above there. Not really a good place to land him in here. I'd like to be below him. So, you know, pulling a fish upstream is always tough. The hook's gonna pull out. So I think what I'm gonna do is try to run downstream and get below him so I can get him into a little bit slower water too. So I'm gonna get in the water here and, uh, and uh, try to get below him and get in a little bit better landing spot. A nice fish. Oh, and he ate the egg. This fish ate a fly that was uh, given to me by an angler who's been doing well with it. It's a yellow, yellow, big yellow yarn egg fly. And uh, I've got to go over and thank him for that. Well, there he is. Pretty bright steelhead. Give him a drink. Whoa, and off he goes. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.